It's my honor to introduce an incredibly remarkable young lady right here. She's 14 years old. She had cancer in 2014 to 2015, and this is her one year anniversary of having it in remission. So, her name's Casey Harvey. Uh, she happens to go to school with my son, so that I just found that out this morning, so that's yeah, really double cool. Know. And um, she's had, uh, who is her advocate, Clay Tresca? from Morris Cancer Center and Advocate has been helping her with her recovery and her training through her recovery. And did you do the race today? Or you have been racing, right? Yeah, so that's that's even more cool. She's actually here paddling after going through this. So, remarkable girl. And I think with that, I'm gonna turn it over here to tell you a little bit of her story. Hi everyone, my name is Casey Harvey and I'm 14 years old. I came here today to race and have fun, but I also came to share a little bit about my story. I am a cancer survivor. In November of 2014, I was diagnosed with what was thought to be a sinus infection, but actually turned out to be a very rare and aggressive form of cancer known as alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma is a soft muscle tissue cancer, and my tumor was located in my left maxillary sinus, which is located below the eye and above the cheek. I started extremely intense chemotherapy on November 22nd of 2014. My treatment protocol consisted of 42 rounds of chemotherapy as well as 33 rounds of proton radiation. Each week I would go into Rady Children's Hospital and receive chemo, and every three weeks I would stay overnight in the hospital for multiple days receiving a cocktail of three different chemotherapy drugs. Chemo and radiation made me extremely sick. I lost over 19 pounds within the first few months, and some days consisted of throwing up nonstop all day. Chemo not only made me incredibly sick, it also destroyed my athletic abilities, such as the ability to walk properly due to the chemo-induced nerve damage, the ability to walk or stand for long periods of time due to low blood levels, and the ability to participate in the things I love doing the most, pre-cancer. Before cancer, I was an extremely active, an athletic 13-year-old girl. I played competitive soccer, ran, worked out, lifted weights, and trained. My whole life revolved around staying fit and loving the feeling of pushing my body beyond my limits. But once I was diagnosed, all the things I loved doing were stripped away from me. During the length of my treatment, I still did my best at trying to maintain the strength I had built up. Every morning, whether it was a chemo day or not chemo day, I would get up and work out in the gym in our garage with my dad. Now it wasn't something where I would get up all smiley and pumped and go stroll out on the elliptical and lift a few dumbbells here and there. The workouts were in fact pretty ugly. Some days I would be throwing up continuously throughout the period of my workout. Not because the workout was too brutal or anything. It was just that my body was so sick from the toxic chemicals inside of me. But because I spent so much on my treatment dedicated and dedicated so much of my journey to attempting to maintain as much strength and fitness as I could, I'm ab able to be standing here today. As of last week, I am one year cancer free. Yay! I am back doing the amazing things I enjoyed doing before cancer and so much more. I am back playing competitive soccer I am back running and working out and so much more. But because of cancer and because of the horrific things I've been through, so many doors have opened up for me. I raced my very, my, I raced my very first Spartan race last weekend and I'm here today doing something new and something that I've quickly grown to love and embrace. Even though I went through hell and back to survive, along the way I was able to meet such incredible and such inspiring people. From fellow survivors to caregivers to families, and to people who just want to help in any way they can, all these people have made such a huge impact in my life. And one thing I can tell you is that events like these are so incredibly important. The level of significance that raising awareness for this horrific disease is huge. Being here today to help raise money and awareness for this disease that touches a piece of everyone's lives every single day is inspiring. Everyone here, whether you're a kid, teenager, a mom, a dad, a caregiver, a family member, or as a cancer survivor, just know that your kindness and your help does make a difference in the cancer.
cancer community. It was such an honor to be able to race and be here today to not only share my story, but give my thanks to everyone here today who was helping support us fellow survivors. Thank you all so much.